Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's Spur video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's Spur video. Day 10 will take us to the 17th of November. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with Sergio Bass and ECM Ensembles. Maybe once around a couple of weeks. We cannot have a look at the CFSB2 for the next four weeks in this video because it's not updated at Noah's or website. I've been waiting, waiting, waiting um, for the four week cruise update. And as of the recording time at... Uh, quarter past two on the afternoon of 7th of November 2023 there have been no updates so uh, they're still showing yesterday's data so I can't bring you that but I am going to show you CFSB2 for December and uh, also we're going to have a look again we saw it in the live stream but I'll show it again in this video at the ECM WF seasonal model um, for, uh, for, for the for the winter and on into the spring as well. So I'll get on that for you in, in a moment. Just say that first video today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We've also released the EC uh, 30 day extended uh, forecast for the UK and for the rest of Europe too. Please like, share, and subscribe on all today's videos and content. And thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. Right, we're going to start off central in temperature. The CT is now sitting at 9.2. 2.7 degrees above 61.990 average. That is provisional to yesterday to the 6th of November. <coughs> Excuse me. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles in the next couple of weeks. We're going to exit to today, home of the uh, UK Met Office. So the red line is the first year upper air temperature average for Exeter, starting off with below average temperatures at the moment, as the upper air temperatures anyway. They will be lifting up a little bit, though, as we go through the weekend and into the early part of next week, especially through the early part of next week. And uh, then we're rather up and down, so looking pretty zonal here, actually. So we've got warmer and a cooler and also warmer and cooler sectors alternating with one another. So it looks like we're setting a spell, a classic zonality, I think, really, as we're moving into the second half of November. Precipitation-wise, after a couple of dry days, uh, wet weather is coming back. So we're going to have more heavy rain crossing the country tonight and tomorrow. Then go showery through Thursday and Friday. And then could turn really very wet indeed over the weekend and into the beginning of next week. Uh, beyond that, again, we see quite large precipitation spikes. So uh, the deluge goes on after a brief pause over the last day or two. Temperature anomalies on the 7th to 15th of November, a little bit above average. Not a big deviation, but it's slightly on the mild and average side. Um, precipitation anomalies from the 7th to 15th of November, they're coming out average or wetter than normal. But that's a little bit drier in the far east of Scotland, the northeast of England. The latest wind from that from Earth, no school.net shows back the next area of low pressure is waiting in the wings. So, as I say, after a couple of days of, of reprieve from the deluge, the next batch of wet and windy weather is on its way and uh, will be pushing across the country smartly and steadily um, as uh, we go through tonight and into tomorrow. Right, let's go through chart data then. Miss Avalanche's UK Met Euro run is looking a big night on Friday. So low pressure, trough of low pressure sitting across the coast. That moves out of the way into Saturday. We get a little transient ridge building. Quite cold to start the weekend. Might get our first frost of the season. But as quickly as big night on Sunday, the next low and weather system is coming in from off the Atlantic, that bringing plenty of wet and windy weather in with it and they go off and running into another spell of low pressure dominated weather through to um this time next week so it gets us midnight tuesday when we've got gale force winds and heavy rain <laughs> sweeping across the country again icon once more has a sort of trough low on friday that moves into the north sea for saturday it turns to drier Cold. We might have our first widespread frost season on Saturday morning. But again, as early as uh, Sunday, the next low to begin for the Atlantic, bringing wet and windy weather in with it. And um, we go through into next week looking very unsettled, low pressure Dominates the weather, bringing uh, plenty of wind and rain in from off the Atlantic. Quite tight packed ice bars as well, so strong winds with that and uh, heavy rain moving from west to east across the country. Right, that takes us through to GFS, midnight run. 
not much change really in low pressure trough of low sitting over top of country for friday we get into the weekend the low pressure eases into an all sea with turbo wind into a cooler or a colder northwesterly temporarily but then low pressure back in later on in the weekend and that brings more of a southwesterly flow as well so not only does it turn more unsettled better uh, later in the weekend will also also start to turn milder as well for it to be early part of next week but all looking very unsettled all looking very atlantic driven and low pressure dominated. That's day 10, though. Some higher pressure bridging in towards France, then, for the uh, Azores High. So that brings something a little bit drier and milder into the south the east of the country. But the long fetch southwest wind will probably drag in lots of heavy rain to the north and west of the country. Then we head on into the extended rain. Maybe a little bit of a, a break there from higher pressure through the third week of November, although not long before we're back into the wet and windy. What we do see with that is that with winds coming in from the southwest regularly, that third week of November could be shaping up to be uh, really quite mild, really, you know, very mild uh, potentially. GFS 6Z, again, the trough low pressure over country on Friday. The trough then moves out of the way as we go through in Saturday, little transient ridge builds within. Quite chilly air, but the low pressure back in again as we get through Saturday through to Sunday. Bring more wet weather in with it. Next week looks unsettled. Low pressure again driving in from off the Atlantic by day 10, which is 17th November. A little bit of transient ridge building just out to our southwest. Pulls the wind into a cooler northwest sea and turn things a bit drier. And then we're back into those west southwesterlies as we go to extended range before things turn increasingly unsettled with uh, low pressure dominating right at the very end. And signs of a little bit of northern blocking there on the GFS 6 m so again, all looking really unsettled with that one too. If you enjoyed the video, please give you like, share and subscribe. Make sure to everybody for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gav's weather, Gav's weather leads. Get them to subscribe to me. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. We need to put on around 50 subscribers, just under 50 subscribers to get ourselves 17.2k. So you could give us a sub. That would be amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, GM. Again, the trough low pressure over country on Friday. That clears away. As you go into Saturday, we turn dry but colder. Then low pressure back in from off the Atlantic through Sunday into the open next week with further wet and windy weather to come. And we head up towards day 10. We'll try to get a little bit of high pressure building over Scandinavia, actually, around day 9. But that doesn't come off. The Atlantic is too active. So day 10 just leads us to yet another area of low and uh, further <laughs> wet and windy weather coming in from off the Atlantic there. Uh, right, the ECM uh, once more is going to rinse repeat for Friday <laughs> under a trough of low. So, uh, unsettled conditions uh, for the end of the week. By Saturday, a little bit drier and colder, very briefly, before low pressure starts heading back in from off the Atlantic through Sunday, taking heavy rain and dragging up some minor air from the uh, southwest with it. And then into next week, well, looking very unsettled, further areas of low pressure driving in from off the Atlantic. A little bit of blocking away to the north as well, forcing these areas of low pressure slightly further south. We end up under a ridge of high pressure there, which is quite a cold ridge uh, by day 10, Friday 17th of November. That could deliver some overnight frost. But with this low in the Atlantic, I suspect what's going to happen there is that ridge will very quickly be flattened off and that we'll probably go into uh, a mild or a very mild southwesterly flow. Beyond day 10. Uh, this is my precipitation forecast based on that uh, ECM run from Tometio.com. So in comes wet weather tonight and tomorrow. Heavy rain crossing many parts of the uh, country. And then we're into sunshine and showers or long spells of rain even for Thursday and on into Friday. It's kind of a little bit of winter to be mixed in with some of that. Notice green splotches over Welsh mountains, Pennines, Southern Uplands, for example. No, there might be a little bit of sink and snow uh, over elevation, cold rain down on the surface. Things turn drier by the end of the week and into the weekend. But uh, not for long, by the end of uh, Sunday and into Monday, in comes the next areas of wet weather, pushing in from off the Atlantic. And, uh, well, very unsettled there for England and Wales around the 15th of November. Proper old girl use going on with that particular area of low pressure. Um, so, yeah, you know, it just is a continuation of the unsettled conditions, really. Uh, these are the options on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10. Let's just 
gets us to the 17th of November. 13 miles of the ECM ensembles with a ridge of high pressure to our southwest. So I can try and pull wind in to a southwest, but it's probably quite chilly at that point with winds coming from the northwest. But that will eventually try and, I think, get wind into southwest. We've got 11 keeping low pressure to our west and also to our east. We've got nine that concludes with trial operation run. We've got nine high pressure just from south, low pressure out to west. Again, that trying to bring up more of a southwesterly flow. We've got eight with low pressure to our east, some sort of ridge out to west. That's a little bit more northerly, so that's colder. Um, got another eight with high pressure down towards France. That's trying to bring up a milder southwesterly flow. And then we've got two with a large ridge of the Azores up to Scandinavia. That's turning things drier. And uh, he's going to try and get minor from the southwest, but not all that far from East Lisbeth either. Looks like we might get some sort of southwesty push there just into the second half of the month. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. And it gets to 22nd of November. 16 members of the ECM ensembles there and have high pressure to the south, low pressure is to the north. So that's going to sort of flat westy flow. That would be a drive of the south, still quite settled in the north and relatively mild. We've got 14 with low pressure weight to the northwest. Again, that's bringing in more of a westerly flow and is more unsettled. We've got 12 with low pressure right way through the country. Very unsettled with that. And then we've got 9 with low pressure to the west, high pressure to the east. And we bring up wind from a southerly type direction. CFSB 247, as I said, can't show you the CFS weeklies, unfortunately. I had to get on with the recording, so I waited as long as I could. Um, they might update later on today, so check, keep checking out the CFS website. But uh, we'll bring you CFS weeklies tomorrow, hopefully. But uh, for this is how the latest 700 millibar hydrogen anomaly is looking for December today. Look away now if you want a cold December. CFS is going for low pressure to the north around Iceland and Greenland. High pressure down towards uh, Spain and Portugal. And winds coming up from the southwest. So that looks like a very mild but potentially quite unsettled uh, December. The temperature anomaly for December is uh, above average in most red colours. That's 1 to 2 degrees above normal. And the precipitation anomaly uh, west of an average out to our west. I'll just leave you with the ECM DOSC model. So lots of it on Sunday's live stream, but for anybody who didn't see Sunday's live stream, I thought we'd just recap. So um, this is the mean cell sea level pressure anomaly from the ECM season model for December, January, February. Looks very unsettled, low pressure right over top of the country. So it does imply a very unsettled winter. But later on in winter, things get quite interesting. This is January, February, March. And we see a significant increase in the blocking signal around Greenland and towards Iceland. With low pressure shifting to our east, that could well get the wind into a colder uh, northeasterly. So I think it's implying that as the winter goes on, um, the blocking signal increases. So, so we may start off with a relatively mild wet signal for December. But January perhaps transitions maybe via via an SSW to uh, a more blocked pattern, which might culminate in um, you know significant blocking for February and March. Maybe this is February, March, April again. We see quite a strong blocking signal there, tropical low pressure underneath it. And finally, just for interest purposes, this is how the spring is looking at the moment, March, April, May, with still a blocking signal, but higher pressure also building then across the continent, which will start to bring up warmer air for the uh, southwest. So I think it's late winter there, uh, particularly February, possibly March as well. But uh, we're focusing on with the ECM for the possibility of something quite a lot colder. Early winter, um, due to this anomaly here, I think early winter probably is relatively mild and wet. And then things get potentially colder later on in the winter. Anyway, it's only one seasonal model and we've got many, many more uh, to update through the remainder of the, uh, of the month. And we'll do our third and final winter 2023-24 seasonal model roundup for you on the final Saturday of November, just before we release our winter forecast, of course.
Right, we're done. So if you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, subscribe. Please show everybody you bored doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gav's Worthy. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. I'll just say what's happening on the channel tomorrow. So you're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We're going to be live streaming our 10 to 14 day at 6 p.m. And after the live stream, we will have another Christmas update. The third installment of the Christmas countdown will be released tomorrow, straight after the live stream. So please keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.